Hello my dear friends, welcome back to the channel Exotic Sense with Nikhil and today we have a special collaboration video with one of my best friends in the fragrance community, Mr. Oswald or otherwise known as Mr. Oz on YouTube. He's a great reviewer and a very hum humble collector and uh, probably has one of the most amazing collections ever. Now we are talking about the top 5 most complimented head turner fragrances from the Middle Eastern world. I hope you enjoy this one. Over to Mr. Oz now guys. Enjoy. Thank you Nikhil for allowing me to participate in this collaboration. Today we're going to be talking about five Middle Eastern fragrances that get me compliments. Um, usually when I test them, um, I do write when I receive interesting compliments. I don't count how many compliments I get, but the interesting ones I usually just write them here. Um, I do also get uh, some interesting reaction from my oud based fragrances, but that's for another day. For today we're going to focus on the ones that I get uh, uh, good compliments or positive reaction off of. So without further ado, we're going to be looking at the uh, the first one which is AJ Arabia number one uh, they renamed them to uh, Widian I think but this one uh, is AJ Arabia one so pretty much what I get out of this one is the beautiful cardamom with an aromatic and coniferous feel is a uh, soft elegant uh, just a well-balanced fragrance nothing crazy but just elegant so um, usually when I wear this one I do uh, dress uh, smart casual and then this one I got a compliment when I was uh, uh, at work in a cafeteria I went down to get some food at noon uh, grabbed my food and I went to my table and then uh, there's a gentleman that came to my table and then asked me if I was wearing um, a fragrance, a cologne. And I said yes, and he asked what it was because when I walked past him, he smelled something that was nice and pleasing. I told him uh, the name, he didn't know really what I was talking about, um, but then he had me spell it so he can remember the name, uh, but he told me before leaving the table that um, it, it smelled good. So I think this was a positive reaction, one of the positive, re positive reactions that I get off of wearing AJ Arabia 1. My number two uh, Middle Eastern fragrance I receive compliments on. Uh, this one is more on the consistent compliment uh, side of things, not uh, interesting compliments there. It's Safari Extreme by Abdul Samad Al Qurashi. Every single time I wear this one, uh, my girlfriend compliments her. She really likes this one. And my male friends all absolutely love this one as well. Um, they think it is unique, interesting. Uh, so this one is a beautiful, sexy, creamy uh, suede sandalwood mix with some light florals on the back ground just an amazing fragrance projects really nicely there um, just consistent uh, compliments with Safari Extreme there so I'm pretty glad to have this one in my collection again when I wear this one I do dress uh, smart casual there so at number three comes uh, Oud Afghano by Abdul Rashid. Just a beautiful, smoky Oud, non-barnyard uh, with a rum accord and then slight fruits in the background. Just an amazing fragrance there. Um, like I said, a not barnyard, but it's a smoky Oud there with a boozy accord from a rum and then slight fruits in the background. Just amazing. So the context in which I received compliments, I was actually at the mall. I went design, uh, sniffing some designers. Uh, there was a couple that was uh, standing uh, next to me I was spraying some fragrances and I heard them murmur in the background but uh, again uh, I kept my business and then I was just trying some designers there so I move away I went there, uh, around on the other side of the counter and I'll try any more uh, fragrances there uh, after a few minutes um, they kind of waved at me and asked me what I sprayed uh, funny thing is that the essay said oh yeah it was uh, Dior Sauvage <laughs> and then they said no uh, it was more something that was woody and smoky took me a minute there to realize that um, it was the fragrance that I was wearing which was um, the Oud Afghano here so I ended up telling them that um, I got it from India is uh, pretty hard to get um, they're not well known and all that um, then I realized that I was going uh, fragged style on them uh, you know when you start talking about fragrances with non fragged and then you're you just get this fire in your eyes you're excited and you start talking I was like oh shit I'm going uh, fragged style on them so I stopped myself there and I told them if they needed something unique and different from my um, the common designers they should look into Tom Ford uh, there and then um, see what, what what they like out of it and then uh, ended up leaving 
So at number four comes uh, Black Incense by Abdul Samad Al Qurash. Just a beautiful, soothing, soft, watery uh, rose petals here. Just an amazing fragrance. So this one I got an interesting uh, compliment in a group uh, class group uh, setting. We met in the morning at the cafe for, uh, to finalize our project. There were two girls in our uh, in our group. Uh, one complimented the other, said uh, she was smelling amazing. What it was, and then the other girls ended up saying that. Uh, it wasn't her because she wasn't wearing anything uh, that day. And then uh, one of the male that was sitting uh, next to me uh, ended up saying that he's also smelling it, but it was a rose fragrance. And it turned and looked at me. I was kind of embarrassed there uh, because I felt like it was projecting too much if they were able to notice that uh, and then the girl was kind of surprised uh, I don't like talking uh, fragrance uh, with the non fragrance there um, but then she ended up saying that um, it was actually interesting because she didn't think that the male could pull off a rose uh, dominant fragrance here but ended up saying that it was complimenting my, complimenting my character because I'm the type that is usually quiet you don't know what I'm always thinking of that kind of loss uh, face on so um, she ended up saying that it complimented my uh, personality there so I don't know if that is a plus or a minus but uh, I think she liked the smell at that point um, I'm not really uh, interested in knowing if it's leaning too masculine or feminine if I'm feeling comfortable wearing it so I would take it as a compliment there but uh, for people that are uh, conservative women that are conservative they might think that this one leans uh, more feminine so there that you have to keep that in mind So last but not least, we have a Weijian Gold 2, just an amazing looking bottle. The scent actually represents or mimics the color gold. Here you get sweet, musky amber and vanilla, warm spices, saffron, and a beautiful floral core in the background. Just an amazing fragrance. This one actually got me multiple compliments in a class setting. So we have groups sitting at one table, um, all male in my group, but they ended up asking me uh, what fragrances I was wearing. They thought it was amazing. Two ended up writing down uh, the name of the fragrance there and then um, in one of the groups that was uh, sitting a little bit far from us a girl ended up saying well I was wondering who was smelling that good which is positive I'm a little bit embarrassed because it was projecting that fast uh, that far uh, but then um, I thought um, it was amazing because it was a positive reaction there so in the end it was overall good but I'm restraining myself from now on from wearing this one in close quarters there but um, amazing fragrance so um, on to Nikhil, I'm excited to know which fragrances, Middle Eastern fragrances, get you uh, the most compliments or the interesting compliments there. Thank you. Now at number five in my collection, we have something uh, from the house of Amwash, which is silver. And uh, silver is a discontinued fragrance. It is a very uh, unique sort of a scent which comes from Amwash. It's not your typical incense -y, uh, you know, so you can say Udi fragrances that uh, we are used to from Amwaj. It's a, a you know sort of a sort of mixture between a shipra and a, uh, uh, and an ar aromatic fusion. But I can definitely call this an aromatic fusion or a modern floriental. It's a bit sharpish with uh, you know uh, it's got a wormwood like sharpness that you get from reflection that detergent soapy like quality. There are some floral aldehydes here. You get the florals a lot of florals in here. And what it does basically on your skin, it's not going to impress you much and probably that was the reason why this was discontinued. However, I must say that in the air, it gets me numerous compliments. Every time I wear this fragrance, it's loud. It's really loud. Now, how much fragrances are loud and this one is no exception. It gets me the compliments when it gets into the air. It, it has a lot of uh, you know, nuances to it, a lot of complex changes and uh, the sharpness withers away within 15 minutes or so and then the whole transition is something very bewitching very enticing a really good compliment getter Amuaj is silver at number five at number four i have a fragrance which does not get much talk in the community but it's a great simple fragrance and somehow a very wearable summer fragrance from a middle eastern house this is from the premium house of designer sheikh and i believe they are from bahrain it's a very beautiful looking flacon here, looks like uh, a, a relic from the Egyptian world. So this fragrance is basically all about pines, summery, 
uh, citruses and pines it's it's a beautiful fragrance it does not have much development it does not have a very deep character you can say this is something like a summer freshy but with a sophisticated touch a touch of um, uh, pininess uh, a touch of woodiness it's a fantastic fragrance you can wear it any time of the year it also does well in the winters which is quite surprising for the freshy it is uh, lasts for about six to eight hours with a very good sillage the projection may appear like it's not projecting much but guys it causes a lot of olfactory fatigue just like creeds of ventus and it gets me a lot of compliments not just from the opposite sex but also my friends they love this fragrance and they always ask me what i'm wearing when i'm wearing this one so a nice substitute to this would be a slightly um, synthetic al rehab sultan which is best in its oil form so you may want to look for that if you're not looking to spend as much uh, it costs about uh, five six dollars that's all now the third one on our list is yes one of my favorites ever rasasi's asrar indonesia this never fails to impress me or the people around me a beautiful take on oud very elegant very refined it's got the perfect oomph of oudness that i look for in my traditional arabic oriental fragrances it's got a lovely hint of cardamoms there's a there's a beautiful note of black tea and uh, there is a lot of pininess a very soothing comforting fragrance something like oud wood but it's so rich and complex so opulent feels like a proper luxury a beautiful fragrance asrar indonesia with a great performance it can last easily between 8 to 10 hours and in colder weathers you can wear this fragrance easily so it's an all year round winner and in the winters yes it gets a lot you know it projects a lot better it the longevity can extend up to almost half a day so it's a great great fragrance in my opinion now at number 2 we have a beautiful fragrance and this is a fragrance oil or an other that i that i call uh, that i call these and uh, this one is safari oil from the house of abdul samad al qureshi it's a very premium looking bottle have a look at that presentation probably one of the best that i've ever had in my collection the middle column is the oil and it's a blend of synthetic oils and natural oils it's got a very beautiful uh, white floral accord it's got a soft touch of leather almost like a cashmere velvetness to it and a velvetiness to it and uh, it's 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 very soft amazing uh, there's a touch of oud but it never comes off as a funky thing it's just in the base and uh, i think a perfect refined uh, gentlemanly fragrance for everybody this is a unisex fragrance lasts for a very long time you need at least three swipes on your hand and uh, i'll make a video on how to apply other properly later on that will help everyone who's getting into fragrances especially these uh atari ones so a great all-rounder it's very rich smells very very opulent uh very uh enticing it's a very interesting fragrance uh you've seen my review of safari extreme and of course mr oz's review on safari extreme safari extreme is very masculine it's got a lot of punch to it but this is a uh, subtler version of safari extreme for everybody this is a purely unisex fragrance and i think one of the most complimented oils in my collection so this is number two safari oil from the house of abdul samad al qureshi now the number one on this list will definitely be a surprise to you i will say that this is a clone of a very popular fragrance that i love so much and that is tuscan leather from the house of tom ford but the recent formulation of it has been really disappointing so this fragrance still is my favorite clone of tuscan leather no points for originality there but what they have done is deviate slightly from the western dna of the tuscan leather it is very raw in nature the leather here is prominent it will give you the effect of leather it's not a touch of cashmere or velvetiness it's sweat through and through the raspberry is beautifully blended with it uh, with the first two three sprays you will feel that there's a slight um, 
you know, uh, less bit of refinement with this, but as time goes by, this becomes a, it grows, it glows on you as well. It gives, it gives me a compliments every time that I wear it because uh, it's a very unique fragrance with a massive projection and sillage and the longevity is just bombastic. So highly recommended for the price, you can get about 75 ml of uh, uh, an Arabic version of uh, Tuscan leather, which is good quality. So uh, good uh, fragrance from the house of Rasasi and I appreciate what they have done with it. They have not actually just cloned it, but they have added their own touch to it. So, La Yukwam from the house of Rasasi. I hope you enjoyed this video guys and Mr. Oz had some really interesting fragrances, some fragrances which I've never tested. So, I would definitely love to sample them and probably review them in one of my videos. Take care. Bye-bye. We'll be looking at a lot many collaborations like these in the future for all of you and for me as well. Take care. Bye-bye.